Alright everyone, so I have this replay right here. Uh, let me see. And this is something that I played. And I wasn't recording when I was playing it. So this is a replay right now. And it was a really good battle. Uh, maybe not the most in the team. Uh, I killed 13 people in total. Um, and the maximum was 50 on the entire battle. But there's something in this that I do with the rockets. That's just like mind boggling really crazy. And I don't know if I'm a hack or something. I don't think I am. But it was just so, so crazy. Alright, so now I'm looking at the B-25 right now, but I'm also thinking to myself about the P-38 and the P-47. I'm also really worried about the B-18, or not worried about the B-18, I'm worried about the P-47 uh, and the P-38. So I see that the P-47 is coming, I'm thinking that he wants to head on, but he does not. Uh, so, and he just goes below me, I, I keep an eye on him. Uh, but I go for mainly for the P-38, because the P-38 is close. Uh, now I see that I'm really low on speed, but I'm just gonna try to take the shot, and I end up killing him. Alright, um, so next, I think I'm going to go for this B-18, yes I am, uh, because he is going for the bases, and right now I'm trying to protect the bases. So, I'm approaching him, he's trying to go up, uh, and I will end up, he will end up running away from me because I have a very low energy, but I'm still trying to chase him. So soon I figure out that maybe I'm just a bit too heavy, I'm also looking at the B-25, but I figure out that I'm, the rockets are making me a bit too heavy. So soon I plan that I release the rockets, like right now, and I still go and chase him. And then look at that rocket. Hit him perfectly. I don't know how it was, but I ended up killing him there. <laughs> that was just crazy. That was just so crazy. Um, on the phone the chat. And I, I type in chat what just happened. No, I don't use any aimbots, and I'm not a hacker, but that was like, I never hit an airplane with a rocket, even if, when I try. So this is the first time I hit a plane with a rocket. It's the only time it will happen in this battle, but it was crazy. And it was hilarious. I, I At that time, I was just like, spoken of what I had no words to say at all. So now I see this B-25 going for the bases, so I shoot him. I'm hoping I get the same luck I did with the rockets, with the bullets, but I end up not. And, just, um, and I get my rockets in 5 seconds. So I'm gonna end up launching my rockets at him. Hoping that I get the same thing. And that doesn't end up happening. Uh, I get out of zoom right now, because I see that he's going up, I shoot, uh, he's a bit hard to kill, but I end up killing him. Now, it looks like my aim is really bad, from how I'm looking right now, at this replay, and I'm just hitting the tail really. It looks like I'm aiming, so I'm totally aiming, that's, that's what I was doing, right? Totally aiming for the tail. <laughs> um, so now I'm just looking around, playing around with the cockpit, um, and I see this PE-3, and I want to attack him, or the B-25, but I'm, now, then I look, and I see the PE-3 going down there with a Spitfire, so I look at the P-47 going down there and the P-38, and the Yak-9. Now I see this, um, BF-110, and I think, oh gosh, he's screwed, I should save him, 
but I see this B-25 approaching quickly, so I decided, you know what, uh, there's no chance of saving him, three against one, uh, and one bomber, so I decide I'm gonna try to save my bases, and I launch rockets right now, just to pretty <laughs> have the same luck. Uh, so I go for this B-25 trying to save our bases. I mean, if they're going to try to save their bases, I'm going to try to save our bases, so I'm not going to let that B-25J pass. Uh, as I don't want our bases getting destroyed. And I end up catching him on fire. Catching him on another fire. Now I don't kill him immediately, and I know that fires can extinguish, so I don't like the uh, keep. like just leave and go down and hide. I like to keep chasing him because I don't like people stealing my kills, which I'll do later and I'll admit that was a really bad of me. Uh, and I also... Yeah, anyways, I what I was saying. Um, unfortunately, uh, later in this game I do end up stealing a kill just because I, I started to turn greedy and I just wanted to kill as many airplanes as possible. So right now I'm at four airplanes in this airplane. So I see this B-18, I dive, I engage landing flaps, slow me down with no throttle, then kill him, go up. Now I'm up to five airplanes. This BF-109, I launch rockets again. He, 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 uh, face me, but I end up killing him and he ends up running me. So that was bad. Alright, so now that's one of my vehicles, one of my planes gone, so next I get a J21A2. Oh, it just froze there for a second, sorry. Um, and I'm at six kills with one death. So I see this Junkers 87, I'm thinking A, I should go for him. And then I see this PE-2. Two PE-2s. Uh, I didn't know if they were two PE-2s. But I saw a PE-2 and I wanted to attack it. Or the Junkers 87. So I thought, hey, I'm going to go up there, get the Junkers 87, and then go down. Now later I decide that I don't want to do that. Because if we lose a couple of bases, that's fine. I've protected for such a long time. But right now, if they destroy our bases, or some of our bases, they're, they're basically screwed. I mean, they only have their airfield left, and if we still have all four bases and we got their airfield, uh, we start bombing their airfield, then they pretty much lost, so I decide I want to get some airplanes killed, and I'm not really worried about this. Now I see this B-17, I'm thinking it's a flying fortress, the American B-17, but it turns out to be the Swedish single engine B-17. Uh, so I end up going down for him, and I end up killing him, and now I'm up to 7 kills. I don't know how to put my little thing, my cursor, on the circle for some reason, I don't know. I should play realistic cards. I've tried before with an uh, Illusion 2 later today and I ended up crashing into the ground. That was completely my fault, I'll admit. I, I, I was aiming some, with some rockets and I ended up just kissing the ground. So that was amazing, honestly. So now I see this piece. I say, ooh, I tried to attack him earlier, I'm going to kill him this time. So I go in the first person, I'm going to see if someone tries to shoot me, someone ends up trying to shoot me, and I see this J-22, so I catch him on fire, that was a lucky shot for me. Um, I thought he was going to go down for a second, but he did not. So I pull up, but this F4U ends up ripping my wing off, and I end up dying. So that's what happens in that battle. So now I have my final J21, A1, and I go for that in the game. <clears throat> so now I'm up to 9 kills, 
I see this Junker is 88, but I decide not worth the time to climb all the way up there while well, I can attack all these airplanes all the way down here. So I decide to leave the Junker is 88. Um, and I'm just rolling my plane and I want to go through those mountains. <laughs> just for fun. So, I'm still looking at the Junkers 88, and I check my surroundings, I see the Yak-9, but I'm still going for the Junkers 88. Alright, so now I see the Yak-9, I finally decide that I'd rather go get some kills, so I go down for the Yak-9, but I believe someone else ends up killing Yeah, alright, so I end up killing him. And now I'm up to 10 airplanes destroyed. So now, I'm, well, I'm on web, and I'm going for the PE-2, very fast. But he ends up dying. I try to get a kill assist, but I end up not getting one. I don't want to turn back for him and lose my speed advantage, so... I'd rather not. Alright, so now I look around, I see the V-156, and um, I'm thinking I should go for him, but he's too high. But I see this I-16 very close to me, so I decide to go on with him. I end up doing a head-on with the I-16. He um, hits me. But then I turned back around, and thank goodness he was uh, looking at another airplane. Because if I turned fight the guy when he was focusing on me, I would have been dead. And I know that, don't worry. I know I, I made a mistake there. And I just got really, really lucky. Uh, with landing flaps and that he was concentrated on another person. And I ended up killing him. So now I'm up to 11 kills, and I see the 156. Now, my plane crashes into the mountain. I tried to make it get out of the mountain, like, avoid the mountain. I, I, I pressed the elevator on full, but it, it came to no avail. So now I see that we almost won right now, so I'm just going to try to find as many people to kill and just go on a killing rampage. So I ended up killing 13 on end, so I'll just end up killing two more airplanes. <clears throat> so now I'm looking over there, I'm thinking I'll go for the SB-2M, or I'll go for the B-25. And then I decide to check my surroundings, and I see a P-51 right there, and he destroys the base. So I decide, oh, you're not doing that. So I go for him, and I see that a B-25 is around there. The P-51, I thought they were coming to go kill him, but someone else kills him. So I see the B-25, and this is where I was bad, and I stole the key. I just turned extremely greedy, and don't, don't do that, guys. Don't steal kills. It, it was bad. So now I see the SB-2M, he conveni conveniently came down low, so I can easily take a shot at him. So now I start shooting at him, of course I can't aim at all. Um, and I end up catching him on fire. And I end up And that's my 13 kills and 3 deaths. I still have a bit of more battle left. So I see this area right there, but my team takes care of them very fast. I'm sorry I'm saying a lot of ums. I'm just going as I go through this gameplay. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I just said one again. Okay, uh, so I see this B-17 up here, the Swedish one, the one with the single engine, or this P-51. The P-51 is closer to me, so I decide to go almost vertical and maybe try to get a shot at him, but I end up not having enough speed, so I level off, still watching, and really wanting to kill those people. 
And then I look up, I see his point three miles away. Uh, so I pull up and try to shoot. And sorry I'm using the SI system and not the metric. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, I don't know. Um, I think it's something wrong. Sorry. Uh, so I go for the B-17B. But I end up not having enough time in the battle and even if I did, my team probably would have killed him easily. So that's the battle. Second place in the team. Behind someone with 15 kills. And 8 ground targets destroyed. He did get one more death than me. But he did better than me. And that was the end of that. So, thank you. Goodbye.